Again, I'm still talking about only two numbers here. And we are going to use the same rule as multiplying. If you remember last video, last class, we did the multiplication. And for the multiplication, the rule was if the two numbers have the same sign, the result is what? Positive. Result is positive. And if the two numbers have different signs, the result is what? Negative. That's what we did last time for multiplication. So it is the same rule for division. So if I go, what's negative 16 divided by negative 8? Notice, are these two numbers the same sign? The answer is positive. 16 over 8, which is what? 2. What is 24 divided by negative 2? Are they the same sign or different signs? Different. The answer is what? Negative. What is negative 8 divided by 16? Positive or negative? Negative. And what's 8 and 16? Can you simplify that? One half, because you can divide them both by 8. What's 9 over negative 15? Again, positive or negative? That's a negative. Different signs always gives you a negative answer. So that's negative. And you can simplify 9 and 15. You can divide them by 3. By 3, this is what? 3. By 3, this is 5. Notice when the negative, it's in the bottom, the answer is negative. When the negative on the top, the answer is negative. That's why we have a rule in math. It says, you know what? If you have A over negative B, if you have the minus in the bottom, you can really make the minus on the top instead of the bottom if you want to. Or you can move it to the front because of that reason. You can see it right here. When it was on the top, the answer is negative in the front. When it was on the bottom, the answer is still negative. Let's try some more. You know I gotta try decimals and fractions. I don't deviate from that. I keep coming back to that topic. Negative 1.5 divided by 5. Is my answer positive or negative? Negative. Yes, Jamie, negative. And let me go to the side. There's the 1.5 divided by 5. How do we divide decimal numbers? We move the decimal point up there. Can we divide the 1 by 5? No. Can we divide 15 by 5? What's 15 by 5? 3. 3 times 5? 15. What is my answer? Negative 0.3. What's a negative 1 half divided by negative 3? What's a negative one half divided by negative three? Is the answer positive or negative? Positive, good. 
So let's try. What's one half divided by three? That's three over one. That's what a three is. And if you remember from fractions, when you have divisions, KFC, keep the first one, change this one to multiplication, and flip that one. So what are you going to have? One six. So positive one six. We never write the plus when it's positive. We just write what? One six. What's a negative eight divided by negative one and three over five? Positive or negative? Positive. Yes, Brittany, positive. And let's go to the side. That's 8 divided by 1 and 3 over 5. So we make the 8, 8 over 1 divided by what's 5 times 1? 5 and 3, that's what? 8 over 5. So 8 over 1 times what? 5 over 8. The 8 will cancel, and what do you have? 5. So the answer is 5 for that problem. Now let's mix in, uh, mix some operation with positive and negative. Let's see if you remember your stuff. So I'm going to give you more than one operation. Let's say I have 4 minus 6 squared divided by 1 minus 5 squared. Multiple operations. You got to do what's inside the parentheses first, right? What's 4 minus 6? Negative 2, yes. What's 1 minus 5? Negative 4. Do what's inside the parentheses first. Pem does. Exponent second. What's negative 2 squared? 4. What's negative 4 squared? What's a negative 4 times a negative 4? 16. So your answer is what? 4 over 16. Can I simplify 4 over 16? Mm -hmm. To what? One fourth, right? Because you can divide them by 4. By 4, this is 1. By 4, this is 4. Another one. Remember, when you have subtraction, what do you do? You keep the first one, you change it to addition, and you flip the sign of the second one. That becomes a 7. Notice these numbers are different signs. You subtract the smaller from the larger. We're talking about the absolute value of the smaller from the absolute value of the larger. 5 from 7. What's 5 from 7? Two, and what's the sign of the larger? Positive. So two divided by two, which is what? One.
3 squared plus negative 7 divided by negative 1. Three squared is always what? Nine plus a negative seven divided by negative one. Let's find the answer to the top. You adding two numbers, different signs. Subtract seven from nine. What's seven from nine? Two, two and what's the sign of the larger? Positive, Positive yes, divided by negative one. Positive divided by negative different signs. What's the answer? Negative 2 over 1, 2. One more fractions, because I know you like them. What's negative 8 divided by negative 2? Positive or negative? Positive 8 over 2? 4. Let's do the second one. Positive divided by a negative. That's a negative. 8 divided by 2, which is what? 4. Now you're going to multiply. Different signs will give you an answer. That's what? Negative. Negative 16. Just old stuff to remember. I don't know if you remember it or not, but I'll just bring it back. When you're dividing, I know we looked at this a long time ago. And that is, when you have a number divided by itself, what is 5 divided by 5? 1. What's negative 7 divided by negative 7? 1. A number by itself is always a 1. What's 4.2 divided by 4.2? 1. What's negative 3 and 1 fifth divided by negative 3 and 1 fifth? 1. When you divide the number by itself, it's always a 1. There's one little exception. I'll bring it shortly. The second thing to remember, if you have zero on the top, what's zero over five? Zero, yes. What is zero over negative seven? Zero. What is zero over 4.2? Zero. What's zero over negative three and one fifth? Zero. When you have a fraction with zero on the top, the answer is always a zero. There's one exception. It's the same exception for this one. I'll come back to it shortly. Keeping you waiting on that. The last piece. What's five over zero? Error, undefined, does not exist. DNE does not exist. I always say zero on the bottom is a problem. Is a problem. Zero on the bottom is a problem. There's no answer, error, can't be done. What's negative 7 over 0? DNE can't be done. What's 4.2 divided by 0? Can't be done. What's negative 3 and 1 fifth divided by 0? Can't be done. Now let me come back to this. I kept saying there's one exception. I said every number by itself is always a 1. 
right? So what about 0 over 0? Is that a 1? That's a number by itself. What about this one? If you have 0 on the top, we said the answer is 0. What about 0 over 0? That's a 0 on the top. Is that a 0? This one says anytime you get 0 on the bottom, you have no solution. So which one of them is the right answer? Zero in the bottom is a problem. That is the one. So this is does not exist. This one does not exist. And this one does not exist. So every number divided by itself is one except the zero. Zero over any number is always a zero except if that number is zero on the bottom. And zero on the bottom is always a problem. And that's the end of the chapter. That's the end of this video, dividing sign numbers.